so they wanted to ask me a few things on um, types of makeup looks you could do for dips. Now, personally, um, before I get into the makeup, I just wanted to um, tackle a few different other subjects about the dips. Uh, your hair, accessories, um, nails, bags, and the dress, but I won't be talking about too much about the dress. So, um, some people tend to go for the up styles, you know, put it all up, do something different like that. Um, I also like, I personally choose, would be keeping it down and I'd put in extensions and do a soft, soft curl, really soft beachy look. So, the up styles I like as well, but I would go for an up style and then to the side and have little curls and, you know, all pinned up from... Sorry, one side and have a little thing going on here, a little design or something. And if if I was going for that, I know I'd make a big mess of it. So I'd go to a hairdresser's and ask her, I'd like an up style and that it'd fall to one, st um, one side and I would like um, soft curls at the side. And she'd know straight away what you're on about. As well, you can put little um, little crystals, little crystal clips inside where you could buy it from clears and stuff. And that would be lovely as well. I wouldn't go for um, the wet hair look. Have it all back and really stuck to your head. I wouldn't go for that at all. I wouldn't like that. Or, you know, you have it all up and you have your fringe stuck down you like this. I already look state like just by holding it down. I I I wouldn't like that at all. Um, accessories. Now, I'd go for I don't like big dangly earrings now. But if you like them, that's grand. Some people will wear hoops and stuff. But if you're going for an up style, I wouldn't go mad with the earrings. I wouldn't go with long big huge hoops. I'd keep them to just little little studs maybe little silver crystal studs or even pearls they're very um they're very nice classic and girly i'd go for something now if you have your hair down you can't see them as much that'd be nice have something long something different something unique that'd be okay the, the trouble now most people would do an upstyle here going to the depths and they'll have big dangly earrings and then a big huge necklace going on. And in my opinion that looks horrible. Well, <laughs> um, you could go for something like this. You know, just something plain with a little um, silver, of course. Something plain, just to say you have a bracelet on. You like tan. Brilliant if you're already tanned. Some people will go if, you know, they're fairly light coloured like myself. I'm fairly white. Um, some people like that and they won't put fake tan on. Um, some people will go out and go on the sunbeds. Some people will tan naturally. So that's grand. But if you, are, um, if you do like fake tan, I would certainly go for it. Um, if I was going to an occasion like this, if it was my depths now, I'd go and get it done professionally. As you can see, don't mind my colour, I bite my nails. So I would definitely go for um, fake nails. I'd go for the um, plain French manicure nails to stick on uh, short ones, not long not long nails. And you can get them in boots and other places. Um, uh, if you have already long nails, perfect. I'd get them done. If you're good at yourself doing your nails, perfect. If you want to get a um, friend, family member again to do them for you, perfect. If you want to get them done professionally, that'd be even nicer, you know, having them done properly. Bag. I think I'll have to split this in two. Um, the bag, I'd go with a small clutch bag. I would definitely um, wear false lashes, whatever um, eye colour you're going to do on your lids. I'd definitely... Um, go for fake lashes now you could go for something dr dramatic don't mind they're a bit dirty big voluminous wispy lashes you could go for something like this or if not you could go for something simple but would still do the job you know these are crossed ones 
but they're very thin. They're not as dark as, as you can tell, as these ones. And I'd like these, even with something plain. Like, these are the girl, girls' loud ones. And they're not as dark as the ones I showed you. But they still give you that voluminous, big effect. Even if you don't want to, um, not keen of wearing face, fake um, eyelashes, um, not too sure how to put them on or, you know, any of that stuff, that's grand. You don't have to put them on. Curl your lashes, you know, with, um, with a curler. Loads of mascara. Keep curling the mascara. They look fabulous like that. Now, makeup. Um, I'd so avoid um, wearing, let's say, your Deb's dress is pink. Pink eyeshadow with a bit of silver all the way up here covered in eyeshadow and really strong eyebrows. Pink bloody blush all over you and then pink lips, strong bright pink lips. I think that's just way too much. Or, or bright lips and a toned down nude eye or go for a nice dark, dark kind of bright eye and a nude lip. I'd keep it like that or one or the other, not both. Now you can have, um, I'd go, f I have my um, foundation on and bronzer over and you can see I have a pretty, you know, plain canvas of a face and I like it like that you know not caked up and it's grand um so you could do you know put your foundation bronzer if you're tanned you know um or just put your foundation powder on um I'd go for a peachy a peachy blush pink almost coral something like this this kind of a colour I'd go for something like that and nude nude lips um, even a really, really soft pink mascara and a smoked out eyeliner now all that is um, I'd first do my um, my eyeliner now, you can use liquid eyeliner, but if you're doing a smoky effect, it won't look good with this. And plus, if you smudge this liquid eyeliner, it'll just make a complete mess out of it, and it won't look that great. So, um, if you just want to put eyeliner, just liquid eyeliner, over a, um, a thick or thin line, and just leave it at that, even wing it out, grand, no problem with that. Or if not, go with a pencil eyeliner now I'd tend to go with a coal um eyeliner make sure dark uh, black intense and creamy heat up the product so it's creamy I'd line my um top and bottom lashes and once I've done that I take a brush like this it's just a sponge I got this with an eyeliner Take like that and um, I'd smudge it all out, just practically rubbing it, making it softer and giving it that smoky effect. Loads of mascara. I'd leave my eye um, nude. If you really wanted to put some eyeshadow on, I'd... Um, If you really wanted to put some eyeshadow on, I'd go something that matches your own skin tone. This has now a bit of shimmer in it, but you can get something like that matte. And I just put that over my lid. Mascara, smoked out, uh, smoked out um, eyeliner, nude lip, a bit of nice glowing blush, and leave it at that. That's fabulous because you have so much intensity going on with your lashes and your eyeliner. It'd just be beautiful, I think. If not, you can go um, uh, a bit of pop in your lips. That's the other look. Keep it simple. Maybe don't put a bit of eyeliner, but don't go too much. Mascara. Um, plain nude colour. And then a bright colour. 
let's say if your Deb's dress is red, I'd go with bright red lips. I'd definitely go with that or a bright pink 